Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. I am Viraja R. And I'm Catherine Moore. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today. Poems written by your friends and neighbors. The first poem is written by myself. Coda. We vow to watch plankton at night. Pledge ourselves to neon blue. Silly as children do. Breathe in rhythm with the noiseless glow. Call it loveliness when we run our hands through luminescent waves. We awake the next morning and remember it like a field of fireflies, bright, brief, and mortal. Like sparks that rise from a body's longing in that early morning catacomb, quiet when the sea and sky are clearer, we decide to love bees instead. The next poem, Breezy Perdido Bay, written by me, Viraja R. As sun drops down, dolphins eagerly awaiting to flip towards the beach, chasing the waves that bathe oysters on granite rocks. Booming above, blue angels show off, suddenly piercing the dark sky, the July 4th fireworks mushroom over breezy Perdido Bay. Three-Legged Dog by Nancy Posey. One step below stock characters in Westerns, cowboy sidekicks, small town doctors, the school marm, and the three-legged dog stands. Shaky, sure, but always there. He guards the poultry trained for cockfights, barks his warning when the reveners discover the moonshine still, but never runs for help when the child falls into the well or knocks the blind old man out of the way of the oncoming train. A clever owner called him Tripod, but usually he's just dog. He spends his days in the shade under the porch, still except to dodge a fly circling down to sleep, dreaming of younger days when he ran unhampered, then jerking only half awake to nightmares of crushing bone. We called him Oreo, written by me, Viraja R. Crying just weaned from mother away. Children found him by the road as prey. By caring and pampering his weakened spirit, calming down our own stricken spirits. With eyes mesmerizing deep sapphire blue, what pedigree or descent we had not a clue. Beagle and Labrador qualities well matched with black shiny fur dragon designed and white patched. Horse so cute and pink, but very weak. Prince got deeper by each passing week, playing and trotting, following us everywhere. Pulling at our heartstrings, he climbed in forever. Theory of the Love of God by me, Catherine Moore. It may be a spell of all spells. I found an old necklace gifted from my friend Laura. At 10, I held her hand on the way home from the school bus. The white fingers entwined with the black. Hand woven. They look like words on a page handwritten. We walked like a proverb, handpicked, prancing like the love of God. 
I have no control of spells of late. Laura is gone. Laws. Vended. False rapture. Yesterday, an earthquake in Michigan. Last night, a little black spot on the moon. Today, they burn churches again in the South. In an ideal world, I place the cross back around my neck. The Living Silence Written by me, Viraja R. Listen to the silence. Let the wind in your breath speak. The rhythm of your heart beat. Your thoughts flicker and dance. You are not alone, though alone. Your breath dances away. Your thoughts with it. Let the goodness within you speak to the silence in silence that holds everything. Feel the depths of silence that moves everything. Breath by breath reels in rhythm beneath all chaos. The hum of silence. Hold your breath, your thoughts, hear the rhythm in your heart. In silence, listen to the silence that breathes goodness, reveals the purpose of your good life. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon.